everyone emerges sometime in the morning, maybe eight o'clock if, if it's going to be a good day. So we pull them out the hangers or whether we rig them, uh, stick them together. We then have to DI them. So it's called a daily inspection. We need to make sure that everything's safe in the glider. There's no, um, nothing obstructing the controls or anything that controls work the way they should. Check the parachutes, make sure that they're safe <laughs> to wear um, and they've been repacked in the last year. Um, instrument wise as well, check all the instruments are working um, because they are quite necessary. <laughs> Briefings at 10, um, sneak in a bacon sandwich if you can and then... Um... And then stand around for a bit. <laughs> at some point we'll all get organised and get launching, get flying. I think the most launches we did in a day was over 100. I think that was at the Mind. Oh, have I got to do it again? Oh, no. Right. So, hello. My name's Lucy. My name's Zoe Mallon. My name is Claire Conway. Charles Batterson. My name's Kate Byrne. I'm Evan. We're at the Winter Series at the moment, which is great fun. Um, it's where all the juniors from across the UK come and gather. So that's anyone up to the age of 26. We visit three clubs during the winter, um, get lots of two-seaters to come along. And basically... There's a bunch of crazy people who drive across the country to stand on a cold airfield. Today we're at Port Moak in Scotland, so we're just north of Edinburgh, uh, near Loch Leven. Uh, we've got absolutely beautiful scenery, so we've got two ridges as well that we can fly on, um, and we've got the loch in between, which is absolutely gorgeous, and it's where Mary Queen of Scots um, was kept. <laughs> um, if it's a great day for visibility-wise, uh, we can see the Cairn Gorns, we can see over to the west, we can see Loch Tay, and we can even see the bridges down at Edinburgh as well, um, so you can see where you've travelled from as well that day, so it's absolutely fantastic. So the Winter Series was started back in 2012, um, and it was really set up as an opportunity for a kind of group of friends back then to meet each other throughout the year, because otherwise they all only got together at the Junior Nationals in August. So that was where it started and it was a fairly small, close-knit group of friends, uh, but it's kind of got bigger and bigger over time as more people have spread the word about what it's about. Um, yeah, it's just grown and grown. I think the most people we've had is just over 100 junior pilots, um, both at Denby and the Mind. Uh, it tends to be uh, not quite so big. Uh, when we come up here to Port Moak, we've got about 55 juniors here this weekend, just because it's quite a long way to travel for a lot of the people that live far down south. I think my, my first winter series at Sutton Bank, that was my first time flying at a different site, and that was really refreshing at, at such a young age. So I first claimed to a winter series similar to this one back in 2013 at the Long Mind. Um, I didn't really know anyone then. I just turned up uh, and Met a few people that weekend and thought it was awesome and loved it from there on. So I think I've been to every winter series since then, bar one weekend, so that's nine years worth. I have no idea how many winter series I've been to. I've not missed that many. Uh, my first winter series was in 2015 and my latest one, 2022, which is now. Port Moak in 2017, uh, we were ridge soaring the Bishop at sort of dusk, sunset gliders everywhere, formations, brilliant, lots of pictures taken. Well, this is my first winter series. Um, I've got quite a few friends down at Lasham who told me about it. And um, when I heard we we're going up to Scotland, I got very excited and I thought, well, it seems like a great adventure. And um, so far I've been thoroughly enjoying it. I mean, you know, look at all of this. We've got a lot of gliders, um, we've got two ridges and um, some absolutely gorgeous weather. I mean, one of the, the things about that people say about juniors is, you know, we train them up and they go away, but they go away to other gliding clubs. So they, they and, and even if they have to drop out of gliding for a while, they come back and they come back, uh, you know, later on as really good instructors. So we're very keen to encourage it. <laughs> 